And all this inverse, all this directly impacts your sleep at the end of the day. So not just by way of that, you know, the whole physiology, but even just <laughs> you feel better. Yeah. When you're outside compared Absolutely. to when you're in the dark with artificial light. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So that yeah. really helps us understand. I mean, we even have like these clock genes that mm, yeah. help us stay on a bit of that circadian rhythm. And mm -hmm. that's really why when you're coaching children or adults, you're reminding yeah. them that getting mm -hmm. light at different times and, and minding when you eat and not eating too late, all yeah. those things play a big part in the physiological capacity for mm -hmm. melatonin to be suppressed during the morning and then mm -hmm. to then finally be released in the evening time. Absolutely. And, and so would you say, and because you mentioned light pollution, would you say it's equally as important to have dim-ish lights towards the evening and closer mm -hmm. to bedtime? And, and that also yeah. helps, yeah? Yes, absolutely. So exactly what, what's going on. Now, the the um the light exposure, like sunlight, we, we calculate the light intensity based on locks, right? And the brightest and the widest array and the bluest of lights is naturally actually just natural sunlight. It's even more intense than our artificial light that we get. Okay. But it is important, again, because of that light pollution, because everywhere is brightly lit. There's screens we're sitting in front of. There's the TV. We're just constantly bombarded, the lights and doors. So it makes it very confusing for our brain because your brain does not know that, oh, this is natural light. The moon is up, so I should come out. Your melatonin is like, there's light. I'm not coming out. <laughs> so that contributes to poor sleep, right? So usually melatonin production or secretion in the evening starts maybe about two hours or so before our peak bedtime where we're meant to sleep there's a variability depending on who the age and, and metabolism and things like that but what i recommend is just in the evening say after dinner start to dim the light if you have dimmers if you have areas of your house that's like you know instead of using like the bright led maybe switch to more of like a you know the table lamp and things like that just to really start to cue your brain to say okay it's time to kind of you know take it really in a little 